Hello, my lovely people. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Anne, your African Village girl. In today's video, guys, I want to show you how to make charcoal briquettes. Yes, I've ever made a video to do with the charcoal briquettes, but this time around, I want to show you a different method of making charcoal briquettes. The only difference, which is in this video with the first video I made, in fact, if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and look for that video. It's already uploaded, I think, it's like now one year when that video on, is on my channel. So, in this video, guys, I want to show you how to make charcoal briquettes using charcoal dust with very, very, very big particles. In the first one, I showed you with tiny particles, but in this particular one, I want to show you how do we make charcoal briquettes using charcoal dust with very, very, very big particles like you are going to see. So without wasting time, guys, let's get into the video. So the materials we are going to use, the materials we are going to use, we are going to use charcoal dust. This is the charcoal dust. But this particular one, since we are in a rainy season, this one is dusty free. It is not dusted because where I bought it from, it rained on it, so it has no dust, but it has got big particles of charcoal, you know. So we are going to use charcoal dust. Still, we are going to use the sawdust. Here is our sawdust. Even in the first video, we used sawdust, and I showed you very well how we go about it. And then we are also going to use clay paste. This is our clay paste, guys. So I just get clear and soak it here in my bucket and it is ready for use. So without wasting time guys, let's get direct to the video. I'm going to go ahead and we'll remove the big particles from this sawdust and we are going to do it from here. It is very dusty, that's why I'm using a mask. as to why we remove these big particles are you seeing the big particles which are remaining on top it's because if you make your briquettes it's because when we make your charcoal briquettes with the big particles like these ones your briquettes will be smoky they will give you smoke and i don't think you like that eh? so that's why we, we remove the big particles the wire mesh which we use in in the sifting hours so dust, it is this one. This is how it is. So this is our sawdust with very fine particles. You can see this. It is very, very, very fine. So this one is safe to use. So I'm going to get two basins here. I'm, I'm measuring with my two basins. And I'm going to put here. That is one. Now, guys, I'm not going to do any measurement here. What you have to know, I have two sacks of charcoal dust. This one and this one. This is the charcoal dust I said with big, big particles. Basins of sawdust. And this is the size of the basin. It is a smaller basin. So, meaning, if I'm going to use two sacks of charcoal dust, I'm going to put four basins of sawdust so now i'm adding two more basins of sawdust to this and after which i add another sack of charcoal dust this is the first basin for the second sack of charcoal dust And this is the second basin. So meaning, I'm going to open this one as well, and I mix at once. Let's open this and we add to this and we mix at once. So now, guys, here, here I come. I have two sacks of charcoal dust with the big particles and four basins of sawdust. There are only two materials which are here. 
So for that case, I'm going to mix the two until they are uniformly mixed. So I'm going to do this with a help of my fork. Now guys, I'm done mixing the two. Hope you can see that they are uniformly mixed. So here we are. We only have the chocolate dust and the so now guys after mixing um here are the sacks here are the sacks with my mixture of sawdust and uh, charcoal dust they are here i don't mind about where i keep them even if it is outside even if it rains on them no problem i can still use them to make my my briquettes so it is from here where i'm going to be scooping Whenever I want to mold my briquettes, I just come, scoop a little, then go ahead and mold my briquettes. So with this mixture which has remained, it's what I'm going to use to show you how to mold the briquettes. The good thing where I'm working from it is concrete. I can either mix from here or I can go ahead and get a basin or a bucket and I mix from there. So now guys, here we are. Here is our clay. I go ahead and pour here. And then to this, I'm going to add some little water. Oh, I'm going to mess up this dish. some water here. So to this, I think the guy, this is clay. So now, guys, I want you to take note of this. That here, when you are making clay, I mean charcoal briquettes using charcoal dust with the big particles. Here we have big particles in the mixture. So for that case, the quantity of clay we use here is not the same as the clay we use when we have fine particles. When you have big particles, you are going to use more clay. You are going to use more clay than when you have small particles. So let's go ahead and see how we go about it. So I get some of this, I put it here, and then I try to make the clay break down. Like I told you guys, there is no formula on making this, like on the quant top clay to use, I won't tell you that here you are going to use this quant of clay it will be with your you yourself eh? after doing this over and over time you'll be able to tell that when i make with this quant of clay my charcoal briquettes come out like this when i make with this quantity of clay my charcoal briquettes burn like this even when it comes to molding like when I put this quant top clay, it is very easy to mold. When I put this, it doesn't mold very well. So there you go ahead to add it just to the quantities of clay you use in the making of your, your charcoal briquettes using clay. So we do this, you keep adding the mixture of this until you get to that point where this is moldable where you can easily mold this into balls and the good thing with the charcoal briquettes which are made with the clay if you are lucky enough and you make them on a, a sunny day the moment you put it under the sun it sets it sets for that case so guys i said if you make them on a hot day, on a sunny day, the good thing with the clay briquettes, other than the other bounding agents, binding agents which are used in, in the making of briquettes, when it, even if it is as wet like this, but you put it under sun, it is going to set, it's going to harden, and that's it. So for me, I found making of briquettes with the clay as my binding agent so, so easy. And so so cheap so i see my mixture is 
not easy to mold so I go ahead and I add this powder for those who have been inboxing me asking me about like where to meet me how to meet me for me as long as you just go to one of my videos I think even the one for the first video I made for briquet making I put my email so you just go to my email inbox me and we see how to meet I can come and train you on how to make these briquets. In fact, if you find me at home, it is a frog charge. It is just a frog charge. Even when I, you are fast, I rarely move. I rarely move. So for that case, it's better you find me home. If you, if that's, if you are in Uganda, if you are in Uganda, just you just have to find me home. If you want me to move, paying transport. I don't think. I think it's better you find me home. I'm not a person who enjoys moving. So, let me try to test if my briquettes are moldable. Yes, guys, I can mold. I can mold this. So, in my first video, still for briquette making, guys, I showed you very well how to mold this. If you are wondering how does she come up with a farm ball just go to my first video which I made about briquette making and you see how I do the molding so here is done the good thing it is a hot day so I just place it here and in no time it will set so another trick something I want to mention about making charcoal briquettes with big charcoal particles as you are molding I think like this particle it is big but I want it in my charcoal briquette what do I do I put it in the middle as I'm, I'm molding I put it in the in the middle and I go ahead to to do good pressing so the good thing with the clay as a binding agent you do not have to press so much like there's another method of briquette making I want to show you still but for that one if your briquette is to come out you have to do the pressing so so much eh? but with the class it is it is a lazy person's job anyone even I've seen kids trying to come to also do the molding eh? anyone can do this so we go ahead and we we mold by the way, to still to mention the quality of briquettes, like the briquettes made using big charcoal dust and the briquettes made using fine charcoal brick charcoal dust, they're not the same. They're not the same. Like here, we have skipped the job of sifting the charcoal dust, but the other side we sifted the charcoal dust. So for that case, the briquettes where the charcoal dust is is having very fine particles it burns longer those briquettes burn longer compared to the ones which are made using big big particles so we only do this because sifting charcoal dust can be hectic and sometimes if it is dusty it becomes too worse you are like you are fearing for yourself for your health so for that case we resort to just molding without sifting so this is how we do the pressing briefly let me show you how we do the the pressing so like i said go ahead and experiment yourself with the quantity of clay which you have to use go and experiment i won't say in such a quantity of this mixture you use this quantity of clay so that's it so i assemble them here so kindly if you are new to my channel consider subscribing to my channel turn on the notification bell for new video updates and to my beautiful returning subscribers thank you so much and please keep it up i appreciate you guys so so much by the way i'm yet to specialize the kind of content I put here on my channel because I've seen where the demand is. I've seen the videos to do with the briquette making on my channel. 
they are liked so so much so that case i'm ready to give you anything about briquette making you just subscribe turn on the notification bell and just watch me give you each and everything so i'm going to do this my legs are starting to hurt i think i need to get a seat somewhere to sit as i'm doing this it's better by the way if you are to do booty quits like this one you do it on a in the morning and in the morning so that you, as the sun comes up like it finds them already and it just hits them so these ones it will take you like on a, a sunny day if you are it is a sunny day there will be two days for them to dry only two days for them to dry and you have your briquettes ready for you so now guys these are the briquettes we've managed to make the briquettes with the big charcoal particles charcoal briquettes with big 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 charcoal particles here they are and the good thing it is a sunny day it is a sunny day so they are setting they are already setting hope you can see these ones after molding they were a little wet on the top but now they are starting to dry so you give it like two days and then they will be dry so that's it guys that's how we make charcoal briquettes with big particles thank you so much for watching in case you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel turn on the notification bell for new video updates and my beautiful beautiful returning subscribers thank you so much and please keep it up in case you want to know how to light these charcoal briquettes there's a video i made on that on how to light these charcoal briquettes you just can check it out on my channel it is there you like it yeah so even how they look like when they are dry it will all be seen in that same video thank you so much love you so much bye bye